So we got episode two of Shikamaru's arc, and I basically was like, did Soho really betray them all this stuff? Then halfway through the episode, I was like, hmm, I gotta think deeply about this because they're Shinobis and they got strategies and stuff that they planned beforehand. So I was like, nah, she probably's not gonna betray them. And in the end, she didn't betray them, but she was like half and half because I like to talk about the piece right now that's in basically the Leaf Village and how Shinobi. I guess Soku's fear is like they're gonna become obsolete and stuff like that and that's kind of true because if there's peace for a long long time then Shinobi's like the registration to become Shinobi's like people would not want to be Shinobi's they just want to be regular civilians and stuff and enjoy their peace but Soku on the other hand she wants achievement like Shikamaru, Naruto and others have achieved in the past and basically she's part of the generation where it's like just peaceful times and it's going to be peaceful times for a while uh, and she's just trying to get some achievements in the land of silence basically um i like the beginning of the episode with sai and basically i get gengo i believe that's the villain's name for this arc he's basically telling sai like look are you really a part of team seven are you like since Sasuke is back, are you aren't you jealous? Like, do they even care about you? And then Sai was like, I'm not gonna let those little things get to me. And I believe Sai did not stay in the land of silence for his own goodwill. Like he just turned a new leaf. I believe he got put under some genjutsu, some type of manipulation due to because we see towards the end a little Sai basically um like eyes glow so it's probably like some type of jutsu i don't think size is just gonna be like i'm gonna leave the leaf village and stand in stay in the land of silence because i'm jealous of sasuke like that makes no sense um we got a new character some some kid that's uh part of the land of silence and he helps soku and stuff to the land of silence and i like the interaction between soku and shikamaru and ro and how she defeated them both and made them seem dead which when they died i was like i was just looking at shikamaru's body and them i'm like they're not dead <laughs> there's no way like the needle must have did something to their chakra like i was thinking that already and it did like um, east make it seem like they're dead so i guess it stopped their chakra for a while so the um, people from the land all the silence they were like oh they're dead you could come with us you're just gonna get interrogated and you're gonna give us information basically about kanoha so yeah that was the episode nothing too intrigued nothing too deep except for the shinobi things what is um are shinobis necessary anymore and the disrespect of shinobi still in the naruto world like this dude was like oh i'm going to the land of science to hire shinobi you know because they're just disposable and crap like that that was like really messed up and that actually made me kind of mad like that it was probably some rich dude so overall i like the arc so far nothing super major has happened so far except the bonding of these three shikamaru ro and soku which is kind of cool like it's happening slowly but surely and i don't know if soku and ro are canon to the naruto storyline and if they are, then we might see them in Boruto, like maybe a small cameo. If they're not, then we might not. But overall, I'm gonna give this episode seven out of 10. It was just a decent episode. I'm not gonna overrate any Naruto episodes because it's my favorite series. And if you're a new viewer, remember to, remember to subscribe to my channel to help my channel grow and have a great day. Peace.